this is the tutorial for with Protel overview of Protel. In order to log in, we can insert a password, and it will automatically default to our username. On the Protel overview, we can uh, we're gonna go through the tabs and the main tabs that we're gonna be using. Uh, starting from the bottom of the page, we see the name, the cache register in which we are logged in. At the moment, is there's no. The date, outstanding arrivals, in-house and outstanding departures, and the occupancy for the evening. Moving on to the top of the page, we have some quick tabs. The runtime plan allowed us to uh, look at the availability, broke down into room types. So from the beginning we see the room type and the number of rooms we have on that room type in total. And on the date we can see Thursday the 21st, we know we are selling one rooftop deluxe one rooftop studio, and so on. At the bottom we see the total available for the night. If we have any provisional bookings, which we don't usually use in the Zeta group, the confirmed reservations, the occupancy, and the rooms that are available physically to sell. This will be different if we have any out of order rooms, hence the two different lines. Next to the room type plan, we can see the room plan. The room plan is slightly different as it shows you, uh, it gives you a visual idea of what is going on in the hotel and which rooms are allocated and which ones are uh, rooms are clean, dirty, stay over, or departure, or are due to move. So Going left to right, we see the room number, we see the room type, and we see the status of the room. The status of the room can be changed just with the right click. We can select the room into clean, out of service, check, touch, or cleaning on progress. So if I would like, wanted to check room number one, we check it to check. This is a training version, so it needs to refresh and now is checked. Another thing we can see from this room type plan, from the room plan, is that the room is checked out and we notice that because of this symbol. When the room is checked in we see a normal tick while it's here. But if it's checked out, we see a tick and a cross. And that would mean that room is departed. Uh, today, if all the system is Thursday, so we are looking into this room is allocated by its an arrival as it doesn't have any tick on it. We also can appreciate that this booking is then moving tomorrow to the room next door. And that's how you will see a room move set up on the room type plan. You can also see that this is our provisional booking because the color is slightly different. And you can also see that a guest checked in and checked out from this room on the same day. So this one was a day use room. There's quite a lot of information you can capture just from the room plan. Moving on. We can look at the Arrivals tab, that will give us an arrival list of all the bedrooms. We can sort this arrival the order of this list by name or room number. We can also decide to include the guests that are already checked in, clicking our Include Arrival Guests. And also those reservations that have been cancelled today if we tick on Void Reservations. But now let's just stay to the standard view that will show us whoever is arriving in alphabetic order. We can also filter by guest last name. Then we're going to have 
all our Mr. Tests arriving today in the different room types. So we see the name, if there is any VIP status, the previous days on Brutal, and the room number allocated. Then we have the Departures tab that will give us all the departures for the day. We can also filter it including our already departed guests. And if I open it, I can go to the status column and I can see whoever is still checked in and whoever has already checked out because they're included. Or alternatively, if I don't include the departed guest, then we just see the ones that are standing. Something else that I have unticked now is the accounts. The accounts will be all our permanent accounts that are still due to check out. Next to departures we have in-house. In-house will show you every guest that is currently in-house. Usually we can remove the accounts and store them by room number or by name then we're gonna see which guests are currently in-house. Reservations, it's a very useful tab as allows you to search by name or first name or company name or confirmation numbers. Every reservation from the date you are currently in to a year later. So if I'm looking for Mr. Test, I will see that I have Mr. Test, test arriving on the 21st of February for one night. To one night. I also have Zeta Test PDF staying on the same day, so this is a day use reservation and it's already checked out. I can see I have another Mr. Test Zeta PDF who is checked in already and is staying till the 25th. So the reservation tab is extremely useful to see future reservations and current reservations already in-house. Moving on into the tabs, I've just closed all the things we open. We can see the add-ons. Add-ons are reports created for us and the ones that we will be using the most is the shift reports or shift slash fire report, which is not in this version of um, the backup system, but is how we print it. We can print our fire reports. These reports will print automatically and they are linked to whatever printer we have in the application in that moment. To make sure it works all the time, we need to always cross-check that on the printer symbol we have the printer we want to use. In this case, being a test system, it doesn't have any printer allocated, so I just leave whatever. Moving into the top, the upper part of the window, we have other tabs that are very helpful. One of them is the reservations tab, which we can search by group reservations, for example. So if I'm looking for a reservation and I know the beginning of the booking, I will then find the group booking from that tab using just the group name as a code, without having to browse by arrivals or departures. We also have access to the cash register, which will allow us to search for previous invoices, if we have the invoice number or even just the name of the guest. We can just browse and this will be the invoices we have previously saved. Remember, this is a test version, so it doesn't have much more information. We can then, oh, wrong one, in the cash register, there are other functions we can do. We can, first of all, 
close our cashier once when we inserted the password so if we had had take, taken any payments then we will need to balance it out we then go to reports and from here we can access to the same room type and room type plans but we can also look at our arrivals in-house and departures which are the quick tabs we've seen before we can also access our traces traces are messages that we can leave between departments or particularly messages that need to be attached to a reservation and we can do that selecting the department Should we want to have a trace for a particular department we can also select that trace to be clear once when it's dealt with then we can filter by the two traces that are already clear for the day and those traces, uh, traces that are not clear for the day on the report tabs we can also see messages if there were any for the guest and importantly the lost and found book the lost and found book is very useful as is divided by room number in this moment we don't have any lost and found recorded yet for this version of the training system office we here we find a few other uh, useful options internet re internal reporting will give us the whole list of all the reports available in Protal and we'll see arrivals for example on my favorites but also you can see the ones that I used recently or if I'm searching looking for one we can also set them by name if we remember the name they will be in alphabetic order and it will be easier to find we also have the same reporting divided in tabs depending on the type of report if I'm looking for a banqueting report then I will use my banqueting ones if I'm looking for my end of day reports I can find them on my end of day tab on options we also have uh, on office we also have the reporter spooler which is very useful to find the latest reports after night audit or the cashier reports during the day and they will be saved there automatically and you, I, as you can see the last ones saved in November 2013 and as I might remind you this is a training version that usually holds up to a couple of months of reporting into the reporting spool if we move on to options here's when we find the wake up call tabs the printer options and the enter moves the enter moves is particularly important for uh, when we have a room move setup as we'll see in the next video we then have the profile tabs which allow us to search uh, profiles for guests from private to companies to travel agents to groups to uh, the source of the bookings and um, we can also search by all types so then we will be able to find filter through all those profiles if I don't wanna if I wanna exit this window I press cancel we also have other options such as profile maintenance and um, protel match and merge which we'll be looking into in the future banquet it will be the banquet plan in case we had events created for the day um, we're gonna automatically default to the date we are in at the moment and um, we can see that on the training version we don't have anything and it's defaulting to the actual date now which is May May 23rd however on the training version there's nothing on May 20, uh, 23rd we then have the help desk and with the context in particular it's very helpful as we can always search 
for the topic we want to see and we can see allocate rooms how do we allocate rooms or cancellations how do we cancel or oh. so it's quite good in general in case we have any questions and we don't know how to proceed into a technical part so this is overall the overview of Protel and the main windows we have.